Hello friends, this is Debo Jyoti Das again from the product success team of ServiceNow and in this session we will go through the last bit of Salesforce integration which is how ServiceNow SAM engine positions the Salesforce data in the workspace post the reconciliation. We already have seen in our last videos how to configure Salesforce and then how to configure ServiceNow and we have also seen how the integration working post the connections are properly configured. So here in this session we will spot check few of the data which got loaded due to the integration successfully working and then we'll create an entitlement, reconcile and we'll then see how the dashboards and the workspace looks like and we will also visit a case of reclamation. So now I am into my instance. We in our last exercise or the videos we have configured this profile and we have seen the integration happening due to that. So let's open this profile and you could see the software models has been loaded and uh, also, you might be remembering these two jobs which are needed for the integration to execute. Now, you could see the jobs runs daily. These jobs are scheduled daily and it fetches the subscription as well as the consumption from the source. Now, let's go to the user subscription and subscription profile and this is our CRM data. Let's open the CRM console. From here click on setup and under setup navigate to users users. So the integration has loaded all the active users into service now. So let's grab a user from service now and try to search it in Salesforce. So Kuldeep and let's open this user. You could see Kuldeep has been assigned with work community only, which basically means this product in service now. Same way, let's take another product, say identity and Take this guy and Nick Chohan, and he is assigned with identity user. Now you could see the data are correctly matching. Now the next step is to Go into the subscription, understand the software models. In SAS subscription, when we are trying to load the entitlement, we may want to ensure the integration has happened first so that you have in front of you all the software model that is actually subscribed in the source portal, in this case CRM, and then you can decide how to load the entitlements. Then Post the entitlements run, the reconciliation will run, and then the license position will be populated in the workspace. Now, another aspect is the removal candidate generation. Post the reconciliation is done, you should get removal candidates generated accordingly, and this data or this candidate is governed by two things reclamation rules and let's see what we have for salesforce and the uh, salesforce platform you could see these are the rules that has been already enabled when we enable the plugin the other factor is data data in the sense last activity field 
based on the data populated here, the reclamation rule will get evaluated and removal candidates will be generated accordingly. Same way, if last activity is empty, it will then consider the subscription assigned column. So thus, we have seen how to configure Salesforce along with the service now part of the integration and then how you need to load the entitlement and then where the reclamation candidates gets generated. Anything else? Oh yeah, just to be sure, software asset analytics is where you will get all your metrics for Salesforce. You just need to choose the subscription profile. It's already selected, so I don't need to do anything. And all these are data relevant to the Salesforce data. Now, I do have very less uh, data populated, hence most of the uh, widgets are empty, but I believe you now got the idea. Thus, we have come to the end of this series of video explaining how to integrate Salesforce with SAM workspace. I hope this video will make your SAM implementation journey on Salesforce a bit easier. With this, this is Didi signing off. See you in the next video.